Hey everybody, Alex and Deb here, and we're doing something a little bit different today. So one of the biggest things we've learned being real estate agents, especially from what we did in our previous careers, is that there's actually an art form to it. The architecture is an art, decor is an art, uh, entrepreneurship in itself is an art. So we're actually here at the Gibbs Museum of Art in Charleston, and we're gonna take a look inside, see what we like in there, and start gaining a better appreciation for what it means to be artistic. We're super excited, can't wait to show you all on the inside. Okay, so this one is really cool. It was done by an artist named Thomas Francioli. He was an architect, uh, then turned World War II veteran. When he got back from the war, he focused all his attention on art and painting and things like that. He was known for doing his, you know, skyscraper pictures. This is a 1951 rendition of what the streets of Charleston look like. As you can tell, it's raining and even a little bit of flooding. Uh, what is this, 70 years later? Not a lot's changed. <laughs> So this one is actually really super cool because this one here was actually damaged and was torn. And if you can kind of look under the light and everything, it's actually like they say it's about 10 inches long. And an art conservator actually came back in and repaired this to make it look like this. And you can actually still see the tear and everything under the light, which is super neat. So we have another piece that's kind of sad. This one is called the uh, the Wreck of the Rose and Bloom. And what it is is there was an American general after the Revolutionary War who was taking his ship and at some point it capsized at, during a storm, as you can see down there, and he actually died in this shipwreck. Uh, he had his daughter with him, picked it right there, who was actually saved by a different sailor and she actually ended up surviving the wreck because of that. Despite the fact that it's dark, I find the, uh, the sculpture very intriguing. Everyone, you might be asking, what is the Johnson Group doing standing in front of two random houses on Calhoun Street? <laughs> it's actually really cool. So this right here is 268 Calhoun Street, and that's 274 Calhoun Street uh, back over there. So what's really cool about these houses, we just came from the art museum, and there was a painting called A View of Charleston from that had an old harbor pond view uh, back from 1846. And these two homes were actually featured on that painting. You just think it's so cool that a painting in 1846, uh, or that buildings from 1846 on a painting are still in existence right here in Charleston. Charleston is full of a lot of cool and exciting history, and I just thought it was awesome that we were able to see an old painting and see them in person uh, right here in the middle of downtown. <laughs> and the cool part is they're actually part of MUSC Hospital now, which is a big medical university in downtown Charleston. <laughs>